Hello friends, my name is Dari and today I want to share with you my experience as a work and travel participant who stayed and worked in the USA for five months. I want to share with you some of my tips and some of my personal experience. Let's talk about how I was choosing a state. I had three main criteria. I wanted my job to be on the coast so I can swim in ocean, um, which I never did. Then I wanted to have a high salary in some interesting position, maybe in an amusement park or a water park or as a hostess. I wanted to practice my English to communicate with people a lot which why I didn't want to be a housekeeper. So I was mostly focusing on East Coast, cities which are close to big cities like New York, Philadelphia, Washington DC. Other participants were much, much quicker than I was. And they chose all of the good vacancies in amusement parks. That's why I ended up choosing a position of a clerk in a local supermarket in a Delaware state, Rehoboth Beach. I thought that working in a shop will have a lot of benefits, um, like having a discount and also trying some exotic fruits and vegetables, which I didn't have in my city, in my country. And also my shop was organic shop, that's why I had the best products. <laughs> so I was living and working in a small seaside town called Rehoboth Beach. I really liked it. It was so tiny and so cozy with a lot of outfits, um, a lot of churches which gave away food for students, which organized lunches and dinners and different activities like going to Washington DC or to Philadelphia. They were giving away bikes, some safety equipment, so I felt really welcomed and I really like this community. I had a flight to New York and then I stayed there for a couple of days, kind of exploring the city meeting new people and just having fun. From New York I took a China bus which cost me around $30 and I arrived in Rehoboth five hours later where my landlord picked me up and drove me to my house. I stayed in a very tiny house for eight people most of them were Russian-speaking students, some of them were much, much older than I was and we had a really nice community there. I paid $125 a week for my room where I stayed with another girl, so it cost me $500 a month, which was um, I wouldn't say it was expensive, but there were much cheaper options. But my house was really close to the place of my work, about 10 minutes ride. That's why I picked it. My first and official job was a clerk in the Fresh Market. It is an organic supermarket really expensive, uh, they have a lot of options of organic food. I was working in a produce department. I had to pick up some fruits and vegetables from the storage and put them on the shelves. And then if they were not looking good or they were going bad, I had to pick them and throw it away. Also, sometimes we changed prices and did some inventorization. I also remembered how I was working in a freezer. I don't know how to call this room. It was so, so cold there. I had to make, 
I know, hundreds of kebabs. It's like you cut some vegetables and you put them on a stick. And you have to make a lot of them because a lot of people buy them. I really hated it. I feel like my manager hated me, that's why he put me there. He said, you're the best at this. You have to do it, Daria. You are the best. I think that's because I was always late at work. Um, because, you know, you have to check in first. You have to swipe your card. And I was... I remember... Um, 59 minutes and I'm just running across the hall swapping my card and just go upstairs doing my makeup getting ready for the day and my boss was so so angry he was like you're giving me so much stress you know that I am going gray I have gray hair now I didn't believe him at first, but then I saw a lot of red hair on his head. Wow, that that's that was me. I did this. I was in shock. Like I gave I didn't realize I gave him that much stress in his life. But anyway, uh, yeah, you have to swipe your card first. Um, and then when you leave, you have to check out and then they calculate the amount of hours that you were working and that's how they are paying you. Um, the salary was, as far as I remember, 11.50 or 10.50 without a tax, with a tax, I don't remember. I, I lived in a tax-free state, that's why when you go to the shop, you see a price and you're actually paying the price that you see. And we had a lot of outlets, as I said, and we were shopping there. It saved a lot of money. We also had a lot of thrift stores. I bought a lot of new clothes, a lot of cheap clothes, like a Tommy Hilfiger shirt for $2. I was working 40 hours a week, which means I worked eight hours every day and I had two days off. These days, could be Monday, Wednesday on one week and then Thursday, Sunday on another week. So it was very different, that's why it was very hard to find a second job. Sometimes we worked from 8 a.m., sometimes I worked from uh, 12 p.m., sometimes from 2 p.m. And if I was working from 2 p.m., that meant that I was closing the shop and I hated it the most because when I was closing a shop, usually we didn't have a lot of people who worked in our department. That's why we were always working together, like me and somebody else. But I was always, okay, most of the times I was paired up with my manager who didn't do much. He could leave earlier and I had to close all by myself. I had to clean everything. I had to put some of the vegetables and fruits in the freezer, back in the storage. And I had to do a lot of work which I hated and it was so boring like usually in the evenings there were no people at all so I I was just standing there and looking at people from other departments who were working or I was talking to my friend from another department although it was really difficult because a lot of the time my managers called me for that because her department was a little bit far. They didn't like me to leave my department and go somewhere else. I mean, that's understandable, but no one really told me this. And I had the best colleagues, I can tell you that. Um, my friends from Bulgaria and from Turkey, they were amazing. 
we had a lot of great time we were laughing and joking and like learning each other languages we were having the best time of our lives uh, sometimes we were going out together like to escape room or for drinks although i couldn't drink back then because i was underage but i was drinking non-alcoholic cocktails and just having the best time because of my schedule i couldn't easily find a second job but still i managed to find a um, hostess position in this cute little mexican restaurant i was working around 10 hours a week mostly in the evenings after my official job and I was welcoming guests, I was booking tables, I was receiving orders, I was cleaning the menus in my free time and also giving it to customers when they come and make tables look good, uh, like decorating them and eating a lot of quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite dish. Maybe that's why I gained a lot of weight, but that's a whole another story. Um, also, they paid me really well, around $10 um, an hour, and they gave me a free meal. I also had a third job, which my friend recommended me to do because he was also cleaning houses, so I was I was asking him what are you doing, where are you going and he said he was going to clean houses so I asked if I could clean houses with him and his employer said yes and I was cleaning houses maybe one day a week when I was working from 2 p.m. or 12 p.m. Um, they paid me ten dollars in cash although it was kind of hard to clean everything do the same work every time but my employer was the nicest woman and i remember me and my friend drinking wine on the last day of our work there for my traveling I didn't travel much because I didn't have a good company a good group of friends which would go with me but I did travel with a church to Washington DC with my friends and then we met there with her other friend and just explored uh, nearby states like Virginia we went to National Park and we went to Baltimore also at the end of the season I traveled back to New York to see my old friend and with my other friend we went to Boston we spent their amazing two days couch surfing in a very old place but that's a whole another story I didn't travel to popular spots like the Yellowstone Park or the Great Canyon but I still am proud of myself I think if I go next time, I would totally go to the West Coast. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. I'll be really happy to read them all. Bye-bye!